rights groups say at least 18 people were killed in the attack and some 100 wounded, including civilians. Were you paying attention? I spent just hours in Zatari camp. I could barely breathe or stand. By then, Syrians were living in those kinds of conditions for a year. I recall a man in his 40s who counted nearly 40 hours since his wife was taken away from him. He didn't know where she was. No, I'm not making this up. There were three and a half pieces of pita on the floor and a dusty bucket on a straw mat for water, empty. Everything had the colors red and gray, either cracked, bloodshot, or dusted with desert sand. He was afraid they were going to die. We were there to help. There are people in the world that want to send you help, we told him. And that was the truth. You were going to send them help. You came to the aid of millions of Syrians who had been living like this and worse. But the truth is, not enough people cared to help them all. And now, people are helping less and less. But how can you stop paying attention now? When one part of our ummah suffers, as much as the Syrian people have, we all feel it. 220,000 people killed, more than 1 million wounded, and 4 million people running away from home. Worse still are the millions displaced inside Syria, who are neither here nor there. They're not registered refugees because they haven't crossed international borders, and in Syria, abandoned in a state of chaos. If we don't pay attention, they don't exist. And if you've been paying attention, even a little bit, you'll know no one in the world is free with a situation like this growing and growing and growing. Families need simple things to live, like food, water, and medical care. Children need an education. Parents need to work. Helping them get through now isn't an option. It's an obligation. In many cases, they're able to continue solely because of the emergency medical care you provide, the food you send to fill their bellies, the clean water you give them access to, and so much more. Now isn't the time to change the channel, skip the article, or turn off the radio. That's not going to make the problem go away. It's a crisis that will keep growing and will affect us all if we don't do something to help. Now, more than ever, is the time to pay attention to Syria. The most responsible and effective stance to take on Syria is a humanitarian one. Pay attention to Syria. Please give generously. Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world.